They are stepping up patrols to cut down on crashes. Nicholasville police have been out on US 27 this weekend looking for drivers running red lights and speeding. Officers in the last few years have seen several bad wrecks, some deadly on that stretch of road. WKYT's Sabira Rayford rode with one of them tonight. Take a ride with the Nicholasville police officer during 4th of July weekend and you'll get a lot of this. And you'll hear a lot of this. There's an officer back there clocked you at 72. Did you realize you were going that fast? No, my speedo's off. I just got new wheels and tires. I mean, That'll do it. Officer Alexis Jones is not new to this line of work. She has been an officer for 10 years. Jones says patrolling US 27 usually keeps her pretty busy. He is on his way to the lake, like we were talking about. The problem is, is he's not even 18 yet. For a couple of hours, we rode along with Jones down US 27 from Brandon Crossing into southern Jessamine County. Some people got tickets, others received a warning. To be honest, I wasn't in a hurry. We were just leaving church, going home, and I didn't think I had enough time to stop. Here's how Jones decides who she's going to give a ticket to. If the light turns yellow and you've already passed the crosswalk, you're probably good. But if it's red and you pass, you probably are going to get a ticket. So the speed limit's 55, but because of the straight stretch, people are always uh, exceeding the speed limit. And they just, they want to beat it. Jones has this tip for people driving tomorrow. Remember to have patience because there's a lot of people on the roads tomorrow going someplace um, and pay attention in case there is a distracted driver um, so that everybody can get where they need to go safely. In Nicholasville, Sabir Rayford, WKYT. Nicholasville police say they will continue increased patrols on US 27 even after the holiday weekend.